and welcome to A Miracle Moment from Apostolic Outreach. I am Evangelist Timothy Dunn, thanking you for stopping by and taking a few minutes for today's broadcast. I want to tell you something. I am encouraged, enriched, and refreshed by the great things that went on this week in Alexandria at the Because of the Times conference. What a wonderful message last night, Brother Arnold. You did a great job, and I want to thank you for it from the bottom of my heart. All the other ministers, I had nothing to take away from them. It's just yesterday's was yesterday's, and it's fresh in my mind. I want to also give a good word out to those in South Florida. I heard a report last night, and I hear there is a great opportunity arising, a new pastor in Southwest Florida, and brother, you know who you are. I am looking and praying for you, looking to see great things come out of that church, and I am just excited to hear that good news. I also want to say thank you to all of those that have sent in prayer requests and testimonies. It has been encouraging to hear the words that you've written, and uh, we look forward to seeing and hearing more. If you have the moment, send us a note. you got the address there on your screen. We want to hear from you today. I have a testimony for you from Texas. Here a while back, we were in Texas, and a young boy came through the prayer line. He was just a small lad, and as he came forward, he said, I want the Lord to heal my heart. Now, I'm not being in any way disrespectful to the young man, but a young man that size generally does not have a heart problem, and I didn't know the urgency or the situation until I laid my hand upon his chest, and I began to, all of a sudden, I felt like a, just something exploding in his chest. I asked his mother, I said, how long has he had this? And she said, since he was born. And his chest literally was just beating and he was calm and had been sitting there not running and playing or anything you would expect to cause his heart to beat like that. And I just said, young man, do you believe that God can heal you? He said, yes. And then while my hand was upon him and we began to pray, immediately that heartbeat just dissipated right down to something that was very normal or almost non-existent. I had him run around the building a couple times and he went over to his mom and said, now lay your hand on his heart and tell me what it feels like. And she said it has never felt like that before at no point in his life. God is a healing God. God is a miracle God. Isn't that wonderful? Doesn't that just excite you to know that if you, just a young man can have such a great and powerful testimony for the rest of his life, he will never forget what the Lord did for him that Sunday in that little church. Isn't that wonderful? I've got a thought for you right now. I want to talk to you about He loves His body. Jesus loves His body. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 28. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. Now, I don't know what you get out of this scripture, but I'm going to tell you something. This scripture is exciting to me. There is so much power and promise and hope and deliverance and destiny in that little scripture. Just, just a few words. I haven't counted them. There may be 20 words in that scripture, maybe even less than that. But those few words tell me that there is hope for the hopeless and, and joy for those that are weak and healing and deliverance and blessings coming from God to us. How does it work? Well, let's back up just a second. If you look at the context in which this scripture is delivered, he says that as a wife should submit herself to a husband. He gives the perfect definition of a successful home. You want a successful home? Read this chapter in this book and apply it. But as a wife submits herself to a, her husband, having nothing that she, he has to work around in order to be what she needs him to be. In other words, she says, honey, I'm yours no matter what. I'm looking for you, and I'm here for you, and all those kind of good things. And there's not a list of things that he has to meet requirements of. She just says, here I am. And when that happens, the Bible says that the husband, following loving the wife, is to give himself to her. So in other words, all of himself is then serving the needs and the love of his wife. And the, Paul says this is how the church works. That whenever the church submits herself to God, you are the church. Did you know that? You and me individually and united as a body, we are the church. We are the bride of Christ. And when we have submitted ourselves to God in all things, in all ways, then what happens is, is that submission opens up the surrender of Him to us. Because when we have surrendered ourselves to Him, then He loves us as His own body. 
for what man has a body that he does not love it. You to think about it in your own body. Have you ever had a pain in your arm that you didn't nurse it? Have you ever had a condition in your flesh that you did not want to mend? Well, sure you did. Even without help and without encouragement, if there is a pain in your body instantly, the entirety of your whole being begins to attempt to heal it. It will send power from, from, from all over your body, from your head to your toe, to that place, if, if it's here, if it's here, wherever it is, to heal it. If your body needs strength, it will strengthen it, whatever it needs. When you look at yourself, you say, man, I want to look good. So you buy clothes that match, clothes that fit, clothes that you like, the way that you think it should be, and it, and it brings greater things out. So when I read that scripture, I say, if I will surrender to my God, then His strength is put upon me. His love is on me. He will cherish me as though I was His own flesh. And what did it say in the Bible whenever it tempted Jesus? It said, Is it not written that the very angels would lift thy feet up, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone? You see, when I am His body, then even the angels protect me. The angels bless me. The angels care for me. And He because they're under His control, loves me, seeks for me, wants to help me. Let me tell you something, my friends. If we would just give Jesus the opportunity that He wants, which is our total surrender, give it all to Him, then He will give Himself totally unto us. One quick more note. In the Bible it talks about how the man hath not power over his body but the wife, and the wife hath not power over her body but the husband. If we will give Him power over our body, then He will give us power over the thrones of heaven. If your will is broken to His will, then He opens up all that He is and offers it to you as equal partners of all that He has. Isn't that exciting? I tell you what, I am just joyful to know that Jesus has given me the opportunity to reach into the heavens and to receive the thing that I need. And it's right there. Why? Because I have surrendered my will to Him completely. I tell you, it just excites me today. I want to take just a moment and take a quick prayer for those that are needing a prayer. We've received several prayer requests. Just before airing this, I received a request from Florida. A young lady is supposed to be going to see a doctor about some problems. I believe with you that the Lord can heal her right now. I believe that before she gets to that doctor that God can already take care of the problem and there's no more problems. So why don't you believe with me? Also, a young lady in Missouri asked for a prayer for direction as well as for some help in her life. And I believe that God can heal her right now along with you. What do you need? Let's take a moment in prayer. Father, we come to you again right now. We ask you in faith believing that you would please look upon each and every one of these requests. And everybody that we've mentioned and failed to mention, you know them all. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said amen. Very well. Once again, I'd like to thank you for visiting us here at the Miracle Moment. It is a very exciting thing what God is doing. We're hearing great things from you, and we would like to hear more from you. If you haven't taken a minute to send us a, a note, would you do it? Just say, hey, we're watching you. Hey, we enjoy listening to what you had to say, or we didn't. Whichever's best for you, don't lie. But, um, but take a minute. If God's done something good for you and it got a great testimony, fill it out. Send it to us, and we love you and appreciate you, and we hope you're having a great day. Lord bless. Oh, are you ready for me?